All right, in this video, we're going to uh, do a sample uh, writing assignment number one that is similar to the actual writing assignment that is uh, in Canvas for you to complete. All right, the problem states that uh, Timothy had a bag filled with cherry and apple lollipops. Problem number one state, states this. There are nine cherry lollipops out of a bag of 21 lollipops in Timothy's bag. What is the probability of pulling a cherry lollipop out of the bag without looking on the first try. And of course, on these problems, you are required to show your work and explain your answer. All right, now this one's just straightforward. Of course, because we're looking for the probability of selecting a cherry lollipop. And here there are nine cherry lollipops out of a total of 21 lollipops in the bag. So, that probability would just simply be 9 over 21. Now, in this case, we need to reduce that fraction in simplest form. So, in this case here, we, we need to find a number that would, the largest number that would go into 9 and 21, which is going to be 3. So, here we're going to divide the numerator and the denominator by 3. So if I do 3 into 9, that's going to go 3 times. And then the denominator 3 into 21 would go 7 times. So this reduces to 3 sevenths. So the probability of pulling a cherry lollipop out of the bag without looking on the first try would be 3 out of 7 or 3 sevenths, written in simplest form. So make sure that you reduce your fractions in simplest form wherever possible. And then problem number two states, Timothy put 12 more lollipops in his bag. The probability of pulling out a cherry lollipop now is one out of three. How many cherry lollipops are in Timothy's bag of lollipops now? And here again, show your work and explain your answer. So in this case, he put 12 additional lollipops in the bag. And there's a total of 21 lollipops all together in that bag. So if I add the 21 that's already there to the 21 that Timothy has put in, there's a total of 33 lollipops. Now we're told that the probability of pulling a cherry lollipop now would be, is now one third. And how many cherry lollipops are there going to be in that bag right now out of the total of 33? Now, there are several ways you can do this, but here I like to set this up as a proportion and then find out what the number of lollipops are. I'll take that ratio of one-third, which is a probability of selecting a cherry lollipop. That's one-third. That's going to be equal to... There's a grand total of 33 lollipops, so let's put the 33 in the denominator. Because the numerator is going to represent the number of cherry lollipops out of 33. So we're going to let X represent the number of cherry lollipops that are in Timothy's bag. And here we have a proportion that we can easily solve. And I would like to do this by cross-multiplying the 3 and the x. So 3 times x will be 3x. That would be equal to 1 times 33, which is 33. So here I'm doing cross multiplication. So I have 3x is equal to 33. And then to solve for x, I'm multiplying by 3, so I need to divide both sides by 3. So that means I have x by itself equaling to 33 divided by 3 will be 11. So that means that there are 30, excuse me, I have 11, 11 cherry lollipops out of a grand total of 33 lollipops. Okay. And has to be that, so that ratio for the probability of a cherry lollipop being pulled out of the bag would be one third. There must be 11 cherry lollipops. Okay, so this should assist you with uh, completing that first writing assignment on Canvas.